Hello. So, I was making a mess. I was making a mess and playing around. So this is a, well, by the looks of it, a normal foil, but it's corrugated. And it's also, it's not supported. So it's actually more like a ribbon type of structure. Now that's shit. So that's uh, not a weird thing on itself, except, uh, well, it might be, but it's something I made before, so that might not be weird. It's not lined up perfectly. I made a weird, stupid mistake here. You can see here, there is a part that is not having aluminium. But the thing about this uh, thing is actually not the fact that it's missing aluminium. But So the only part that's actually playing is this middle part the coil that sits between uh, two rows of magnets or actually three magnets and then the other coil here I thought can I feed it DC now you wonder why but if you play low frequencies with just this as a ribbon Although it doesn't look like a ribbon, it's not... Ah, damn, I hate this. It's a planar magnetic, but it's corrugated and not supported by the sides. Now, that gives a problem, and that is that uh, it will vibrate all over the place. So what I thought was, at least I wanted to try, let's say I add some DC voltage instead of foam, which is very unpractical, but I wanted to try anyways. So I made an extra coil actually two coils not one coil but um, so two traces go up bloop, 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 bloop. and that reverses and goes the same direction which you might want to think y you will say hey but that's out of phase then that's true but I wanted to feed it DC uh, another three traces so my idea was if you feed it DC it doesn't want to go towards the magnet and also uh, the other coil doesn't want to be away from the magnet so it's kind of dampening or I call it a <laughs> electromagnetic break of the foil because what happens if you play low frequencies this moves along and then the outer edges go completely berserk and even if you put coil here they go all over the place <clears throat> so I had a DC power supply here and since there's no cabling in there you might assume that I did not use it and that's true I tried it but uh, it's a really balancing act so if I add a DC it was pulling the sides towards the magnet so the uh, pushing and the pulling is not in balance now you might ask well uh, that's no wonder you use three traces on one direction and two traces on the other direction and that is true but um, yeah I thought well the two traces are closer to the magnet so I'll give them one trace less but didn't help then I thought well I did some experiments with this breaking thingy before but back then I only used well a coil and gave it a reverse voltage of the actual playing membrane so out of phase and uh, I have to retry that because what I did actually now is not feeding it DC but I put a parallel to the playing coil uh, out of phase I hope but there is actually no out of phase because I have two traces going in phase and three traces going out of phase so there's plenty of room to play I guess but I'll show you uh, what's happening if I just play with the membrane middle part playing uh, some low frequencies and when I add the second coil that does not contribute anything except 
controlling the flapping at least. Uh, do I have any light? Where's my phone? Not exactly a great light source, but <laughs> I should buy some uh, lighting. This might work. Some duct tape. Okay, so we got a foil there. And I'll uh, disable the uh, weird braking coil, which is far from perfect, and I'm not even sure. Uh, yeah, because I have traces in phase and out of phase. It might damp it really nicely this way, or I should put them out of phase, but we'll see. So this is a frequency where the membrane is like rocking more than it actually is. It's tonic. Let's add the brake coil. Can you see the difference? Now you might think, well, but you lost a lot of output. Well. If I remove this coil, it's going to be loud, but you're not removing any output in this case because 90% you hear is uh, the membrane slapping. So that's quite quiet. And now we do the same with a tune because it might be more visible. So, uh, is this uh, like something insanely insane? I guess not. The only thing I can tell is that... Uh, this might be interesting if you... I mean, now it's a bit extreme, but... If you still support at the end slightly, which is a good idea. There's always a piece between the actual driven coil and the part that is not driven to get resonance low this, that is gonna be um, like break up out of phase kind of thingy and I, I think you can actually do something about it with just a few traces maybe in or out of phase I'm not sure yet or in and out like it doesn't want to move instead of flapping all over the place now these ends always, if not supported at all, go berserk. Now with this parallel to it, it goes less berserk and moves more like a unison. In this case you still hear like slapping because it's just the maximum excursion the driver can make. But if this driver would be eight times as big, could be interesting. Who knows? Anyhow, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.